There we go. Looks as though we are now live here from headquarters here at Spark TV. I'm going to be sending our over here in the corner. Hey, look at that infinite loop. I'm going to be sending this along to uh, anyone, everybody listening. Appreciate you all tuning in this evening. Just wanted to uh, hop on and uh, give a brief update on the state of things as we continue to develop this program, this overall channel, the streaming channel. And as you may, may be able to hear, we've got uh, the rain outside. I've left the windows open, bringing in that nice evening cool air as we uh, are looking then at, um, at uh, the, the, well, I guess we've got the, the weather. I'm not, uh, I'm not one to look at the weather. That's not my, uh, my vocation of being uh, <laughs> someone who's able to uh, forecast those sorts of things. But um, we've got a new ticker at the bottom of the screen. Shows us what's going on on Spark or uh, www.thespark.buzz. Show you everything you need to know about uh, the latest stories from the newsletter. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, hey, head on over www.thespark.buzz. You can check that out and um, find out everything you've been missing about uh, our creativity newsletter, all about uh, innovation. Uh, imagination, all those different things that um, all part of the creative process, all part of it as we we tell different stories. That's my goal is to tell the story both in the news um, and from our history, our headlines in history, as I like to say, all that good alliteration branding um, that I've been working on, all those different things combining to tell the story of creativity, both from the history books and from our headlines. And I think that's important to to look at as we dive into really thinking critically about creativity because it's not something that we think too critically about. Maybe there was a time in my past where I would have said, you can't study something like that. That's something beyond study. But as you dive into it more, there are a lot of interesting folks that uh, have done quite a bit of research. Uh, people like Osborne and Parnes. Um, I was just reading about J.P. Guilford, Gil Guilford um, who did creativity testing during like World War II um, which is an amazing thing to think about. Um, and uh, I don't have the book on me. Otherwise, I would grab it for you and uh, read you a little bit about it. And I don't think it's back there either. I think it's on the living room floor, so I won't, uh, I won't get up and go get it right now. But uh, it's, it's, it's a, a very interesting look at, uh, at things. Um, a book written by uh, Mihai Chichin Mihai. Uh, Chisit, Chisit Mihai, I believe is uh, exactly how you say it. Uh, and... He was pretty much a legend as far as looking at creativity, looking at flow. He wrote the book on flow, getting into the flow state, how that works. Um, very, very important guy, very important uh, thinker for the study of creativity, the study of flow. Um, and so certainly something to appreciate. Um, and uh, David, I see your comment. Thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, um, I guess it's uh, yeah, raining where you are as well. This is good, yeah, good stuff. I'm glad, glad for the live uh, feedback. It's it's good to be able to tap into the community here, and I'm hoping that um, this continues with Spark Space um, to keep growing it larger and larger. Um, and if you know folks, folks that may be watching or watching later, um, if you've got creative friends, we 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 put the creative professional label on there because I think that that helps to kind of create a contour of, you know, these people are in it as a career-wise. But it doesn't really need to be about careers. It's just folks that see creativity, that, that have a real sense of creativity. Um, that's, I think, that, that's all you really need. So if, if you've got friends that you want to invite to Spark Space, by all means, uh, bring them on in. We are glad to have them. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, all, all about growing that community. All about developing a broader um, base of folks to, to center around around this idea, this, in, this interest in creativity as, uh, as an individual idea. <clears throat> and so um, today, why don't we do a little bit of a... I, I've been meaning to get started with programming for the Spark by simply going over some of the headlines um, of our our newsletter 
And among those, uh, those headlines right now, um, included under our breakthrough section, project to record graffiti inscriptions on the Temple of Isis on uh, Agil- um, Agilkia Island in southern Egypt is being carried out by a team led by geography professor Nick Headley at Simon Fraser University. The graffiti, uh, which dates back to 2,000 years old, is inscribed in a variety of languages, including Demotic, Arabic, Greek, Latin, Coptic, and French. Those offer insights into the stories of the people who have visited the site. And that's a fascinating thing, really. You know, you think about it, uh, that uh, graffiti is as old as time, and it's not only a piece of history, um, but it's a piece of history upon history, right? So you're developing on this over time because, you know, of course it's defacing this ancient monument, certainly not something you would uh, encourage, but the fact that they have done it over the centuries makes it a piece of history. It makes it a piece of uh, <clears throat> the developed history of um, of this site, and it's an amazing thing to think about uh, for that very reason. Um, and so they were able to create these 3D models using spatial reality capture, as they call it, and that helped them to create models of this temple, its graffiti, um, and uh, it'll be used for new types of archaeological spatial analysis. An excellent thing going on there. Um, We have a new podcast out from Conceit Media, and that is called Encyclopedia Inventio. It's centered all about uh, the history of invention, a history of inventors, you know, telling their stories, telling, getting into the nitty gritty of it. And I'm thinking about getting a companion podcast going um, and possibly sharing a lot of the content between them, um, simply called something like Patent Paternity Court, something where we dig into the questions of uh, who's the real father of things like the light bulb, which was the whole theme of the first episode. Um, or we dig into the just different different ideas and who actually is the first one to do them because there's usually not one individual person that you point to and say, hey, this guy created this fully formed, you know, stands out among the rest. He's he's the he's the guy. He's the only guy because all of these inventions have so many different pieces and parts. Um, I was watching Ken Burns' documentary on the invention of radio, right? Um, and there you get into some interesting uh, space as far as just a really complicated history, a really um, broad and, uh, you know, murky area, a murky area of um, of the creative history of the radio. There's not a single person that, you know, says, this is the radio guy. Um, so there's many, many fathers of the radio. Um, and so it, that, that really is what it comes down to. Um, and under our changes and trends category, <clears throat> following a lot of those changes and trends within the spark, that is the, uh, the goal of breaking a lot of those down for, for creatives and creative professionals alike. Um, recently, there was a, an AI-made piece of music, um, actually several, imitating Drake, The Weeknd, and uh, Kanye West, actually. Um, and so it, it's really imitating these guys. It's, it's pretending to be them and... Um, so I was reading as well about this, this article from The Guardian saying, can pop music survive, right? Um, is it going to get to the point where all the rhythms, the chords, the, the pieces and the parts of music um, break down to where AI keeps replicating it and replicating it and replicating it? Um, a really fascinating topic, something that is hard to... Uh, hard to say as you look forward in time towards the shape of things to come. Um, The head of audiobooks at Spotify, and if you've been following Spotify, they have been rolling out, trying to get into that audio space, audio book space, um, much like Audible. Um, His name is Nir Zickerman. He's the vice president and global head of audiobooks at Spotify. He's going back into entrepreneurship, which is always a great thing. Um, It's the latest string of exits in that area at Spotify, currently searching um, for a successor to him. Um, so those are, those are all great pieces um, of the puzzle to look at this week as far as the story of the week and creativity. Huawei is uh, predicting AI computing power will increase by 500 times by 2030. 
They announced their commitment to investing in domains like connectivity and computing, storage, and cloud to accelerate digital transformation. The company is forecasting that artificial intelligence computing power will increase by 500 times by 2030, and global spending on digital transformation will reach 3.41 uh, trillion. I think that the rain is really picking up now. I'm sure that you all can hear that quite well. <laughs> um, um, I uh, it kind of uh, uh, counteracts the soundproofing I've done in my studio whenever I just leave the window open to experience the nice night air. Um, but hey, it creates atmosphere for myself anyway. Perhaps not for you as much, but uh, let us see. <clears throat> Um, our next story, discovery under the Discovery and Invention section, a recent study produced in the journal Cell shows that there may be a link between gut bacteria, bone loss, and the effects of microgravity on the body. They exa examined the gut microbiomes of 20 mice that spent one or two months on the International Space Station, revealing uh, an increased levels of two bacteria strains which are linked to the process of adjusting the body's skeletal integrity. As humans continue to explore space, as the story we've got here on the Spark says, understanding these effects and how to mitigate them will be essential to keeping astronauts healthy. All right, great stuff, very important stuff. Um, and Twilight's coming back, apparently, as a, a TV show. That's a little bit of under, under our IP section, all of our updates on intellectual property going into effect. Something to keep an eye on. All right, good stuff. Um, another important note, we've got some courses now which are available through Gumroad, um, and you can check those out. But one of the other things to mention is that if you refer the Spark to a friend, we'll send you those courses for free. Well, for each friend, we basically level up. You get to level up. For each of um, person that you refer that signs up, you get a course from us, as I've been compiling those over the last several days, uh, really trying to dig deep into subjects like how to create things like passive income for creative professionals, you know, because that I think is a very important thing. And that's some, that is my goal as well that I continue to build on, um, finding those passive income things uh, and streams, because let's face it, we need in this life either some level of uh, a security as far as um, a fallback or we you know, want to create passive income so we can you know, commit ourselves more fully to whether it's our art or anything like that um, to dive into those things full time. So those are, that's a priority for, for me and I'm sure it's a priority for a lot of people in that way. Um, all things to, to consider, all things to consider. Um, I think we'll leave it there for tonight. Um, appreciate you all who have tuned in and uh, who will find this later on. And this has been, I think, our, our inaugural episode of our uh, bulletin series, which will simply be looking at some of our top headlines and stories, getting a look at uh, what's new in the world of creativity, what creative professionals need to know, what creative thinkers in general need to know, and breaking down, uh, looking at the story of inspiration, innovation, all these things in the news and how it affects us all. So appreciate you all um, spending the time here. As always, it's a, it's a great thing um, anytime uh, you make the time. And so for now, say thanks again.